Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Ashton and I make faith videos here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use one of my favorite tools for Bible study, which is the Blue Letter Bible app. So if you're interested in learning how to use that, then just keep on watching. <music> Okay guys, so since the Blue Letter Bible app um, is obviously an app, so it's on the phone, I am going to be screen recording my phone and then doing a voiceover to explain um, how to use the app. So let's go ahead and go to my phone. All right guys, so this blue icon here labeled BLB is obviously the Blue Letter Bible app. And so the first thing that you wanna do is go to the scripture that you want to look up. So for this example, we're just going to do Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 um, because we did do a study of Proverbs last month. So what you want to do is scroll down to the scripture and click on the verse. And then the first tool that they have is the interlinear and the concordance. This is the tool that I use most often. So there are a bunch of different reasons why you would want to use the interlinear um, or concordance, whether it's knowing the definition of a word, seeing how many times it's been used. So what you want to do is just click on the word. Strong's H982. Batach. Batach. And as you can see, if you click on the little uh, volume icon, you can hear how to pronounce the word in the Hebrew or the Greek. And so now I'm just scrolling through everything that you can see um, when you use the concordance. So you can see different definitions. You can see how many times or where it's been used, how many scriptures it's been used in in the Bible. And that's really helpful for when you're trying to compare or like see the context for which the word is used. Another thing that's really cool is the Bible comparison, and this is when you can compare the scripture that you're reading in multiple different versions. And so this is nice because you don't have to constantly switch back from different versions that you're reading. Another thing is the cross-reference, and so that's again, that's just seeing how, where those words that are in the scripture have been used in other scriptures in the Bible. And then you also have text commentaries, and that's usually just where um, studiers of the Bible or theologians um, or even those who write sermons um, have just left their commentary and kind of expanded on the scripture. Of course, you want to make sure you study everything for, your, for yourself and take it before God, but commentaries can also be extremely helpful um, if there's something that you don't understand. Along with written commentaries, there's also audio and visual, so like videos that you can watch about the scripture or audios, and then as well as dictionaries, so different Bible dictionaries that you can use to describe different words. And that is how you use, um, I don't really use like the notes or the bookmarks, but those are definitely things that you can use as well in your Bible study time. All right, guys, so that is how you use the Blue Letter Bible app. If there are any questions that you have that I didn't cover in today's video, feel free to go ahead and put them in the comment section below, and I will try to answer them as best possible. Thank you for watching this video. If you've made it all the way to the end and you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and click the subscribe button, and then also make sure to turn on post notifications so that you don't miss a new upload from me, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.